black and white network fans, it's not often that um, you will actually see me agree with um, Chris Wallace of uh, CNN, formerly of uh, Fox News. Chris Wallace asks a pretty good question of uh, Jen Psaki about Mr. Biden. Now, guys, I believe that uh, Biden is not fully in control of this government. There actually may be some type of a shadow government going on out there because Biden himself, you know, when he when he gives interviews just on the fly, he always says something along the nature of, well, I'm going to get in trouble. I'm not supposed to be answering this question. I've never seen an occupier of the Oval Office act in that manner, taking orders from somebody else. Now, also the other day. Uh, Vladimir Zelensky said that he wanted uh, Joe Biden to go to Ukraine. Jen Psaki said, we are not sending Joe Biden to Ukraine. Who is this? We, who is really in control folks? I'm very curious about that. But when it comes to interviews and I'm talking, I'm not talking about, you know, just answering questions on the fly. I'm talking about full sit down interviews Joe Biden just does not do that. And Chris Wallace got to give him credit, man. He's an idiot, but I got to get him, give him credit on this. Check this out over here on the daily mail. Jen Psaki clashes with Chris Wallace over Biden being sheltered from press and heated moment on CNN plus fell in a network, by the way, white house press secretary explains why she sobbed over Quote, don't say gay bill. We're not even going to talk about that point right there. We're going to stri- focus strictly on um, Joe Biden being um, hidden from the media. Well, this should not be too much of a surprise because we know when uh, Joe Biden was campaigning, he didn't campaign. He sat locked in his Delaware basement in his home. The man never really did much of anything. But apparently he got 81 million votes, but I digress on that. It says here, press secretary Jen Psaki clashed with CNN plus host Chris Wallace on Wednesday night when the veteran news anchor grilled the White House over White House official over uh, Joe Biden's lack of sit down press interviews. It doesn't happen. Psaki nearly half hour long interview with Wallace was largely uncontentious especially when compared to her exchanges with uh, Wallace's ex-colleagues at his uh, former network, Fox News. The press secretary opened up about some of her most notable and controversial moments in the briefing room and discussed her headline, Making Tears Over Florida's, I'm not even going to say that, Parental Rights and Education Bill, where she said, sh- shed um, some tears during a recent uh, podcast interview. Her boss, however, has had far fewer drawn out media appearances, though Biden often uh, stops to answer reporters uh, shouted questions while traveling to and from events. The Joe Biden has only um, had one sit down interview this year so far. So we're in late April. He's given one sit down interview. He's also participated in a um, few press conferences during his first year in office, holding just nine joint or solo such events. Donald Trump held 21 and Barack Obama 27 during their first years. Quote, why has Joe Biden been so sheltered from the press? Wallace asked Saki on Wednesday. Saki challenge in what way? Quote, he just did a press conference several weeks ago. He takes questions from the press nearly every day, she defended. Wallace pointed out that Biden has sat down for 28 reporter interviews during the same time span. Donald Trump did 95 and Barack Obama even more at 162. But Saki countered he was leaving out. The times he stopped for impromptu chats with White House reporters. Quote, nearly every time at the White House, 
He takes questions from the White House um, press corps. She said, Wallace began, yeah, but Jen. Two questions, three questions, eight questions. Saki continued saying over the CNN plus host. So why is that different? Well, it's clearly different because um, these impromptu um, interviews or just taking questions, I should say. Usually they're filled with gaps. Rhodes already um, did like the Easter Bunny thing, talked about that. Uh, Biden always ends up saying something along the lines of, um, I'm going to get in trouble. I'm not supposed to be answering questions. I'm not supposed to be answering that. Yeah, that's the problem. Now, Trump, when he was in office, he would actually answer questions and keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. Biden has to be willed out. And these sit down interviews, man, these are actually planned interviews. Remember, Joe Biden had a, um, a press conference and he was reading off the paper. He said, well, they gave me this and they told me to ask this person this question. Who is they? That's the problem right there. Joe Biden is completely scripted. Somebody has put energizer batteries that are failing into his back and controlling him. Yeah, th- this is a problem. This really is. Wallace, who spent more than a decade early in his career as a White, ha- White House correspondent, challenge. I'll tell you exactly why that's different. Because when you're standing there, you can take a question. You can answer it. You can uh, slough through it off and uh, you can move on. And oftentimes he gives a partial answer and walks away. It in no way compares to sitting down with a reporter for 20 minutes, 30 minutes and having you can't move away. You can uh, duck it. You got to sit there and answer the question and the follow up. It's not the same thing he finished. Saki asked him to agree to disagree. Yeah, even Jen Saki knows that. Um, Joe Biden is incapable of um, sitting down really for 20, 30 minutes with um somebody from the media. He just can't do it because he's going to put his foot in his mouth and American people, you know, they're not buying into what he's saying about um, inflation, rising gas prices. And, you know, this man is blaming Vladimir Putin for all of this because um, the invasion of Ukraine, even though folks, anybody with a working brain knows that inflation and gas prices were going up before Russia invaded Ukraine. It's just that simple. I mean, Jen Psaki echoing the same thing. She th- she thinks that American people are stupid. Well, <laughs> she may be right um, if Joe Biden actually got uh, 81 million votes. But I'm just throwing it out there, man. But even an idiot like Chris Wallace can ask a good question every now and then. You know, what's the old saying? A dead clock is uh, right twice a day. Hey, credit to where credit is due for Chris Wallace. Good question. It seems like even people on the left, man, are starting to abandon Joe Biden because they know that they are in trouble with this man at the helm. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Network. And we'll catch you next time.